All right, everyone. Thank you for being here. We see lots of people here. So thank you for uh, making this commitment. We want to get you pumped up for this Bahamas trip. Uh, my name is Miranda. I'm here with Suki and Janesta. And we all, what we're going to do tonight is first we'll introduce ourselves. We'll share our favorite memory from an incentive trip. And then we're going to take you through a breakdown of our trip and show you a really cool tracker. So you can see just how possible, how possible this is. Sound good? All right, ladies, which one of you wants to go first? Take it away, Miranda. Okay, since I'm talking anyways. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so my name is Miranda. I know a lot of you won't know me from Janest's team and Suki's team, um, but my name is Miranda DeRusso. I live in Hornpain, Ontario, a little tiny town in northern Ontario, about 900 people here. I've been with Epicure for 10 years. Um, a leader for nine years and about five, six years ago is when I decided to work my business full time. And that all stemmed from just wanting the incentive trip. I was at conference, they announced that um, there was a trip to Dominican and you know, it had never occurred to me before that I went to all the conferences. I saw people on stage who had earned trips and I just always thought that was for elite people with Epicure, like those are for really higher ups for people who have been with the company for years. I, I didn't see myself ever earning a trip. And I was okay with that. Um, but then the year before there was a Portugal trip. And uh, I saw at the end of the trip, I saw it was Laura, no, not Laura Schultz. There was maybe it was Benny Martin. Um, anyways, she I saw this video she did where she showed that she just earned the trip. And I was like, hey, that she's my age. Like she's been with the company less time than I have been. And she earned a trip and that's when it dawned on me. It took seeing that for me to realize, oh, like I can actually do this. You know, it's not just for people who have been with Epic Gear for 20 years and have these massive teams. So it just took that little mindset shift. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna do it this year. So we just came from conference. I had the printout and I was bound and determined and yeah, the next trip was that background that you see was uh, Dominican Republic. And I was the first one in the whole company to earn the trip for one. I guess I didn't have to like gun it that hard, but I did. No one even saw it coming. I think the next person was like a month later who earned it. But uh, and then I earned the trip for two and it was just the most incredible experience. I remember being with my husband in the um, lobby of our resort. We had just arrived. Uh, you know a long day of travel and i see this big lineup at the lobby and then i realize oh epic Year has our own check-in what so we go around the corner and someone hands us a drink and we don't have to wait in line or anything and derek my husband said to me he's like okay you're never not earning a trip mm -hmm. again i will do whatever it takes to make sure we are at every trip for two and we've earned every trip for two since then um it, just, it took him being there to realize, oh my goodness, you are doing something awesome. So, and Dominican was amazing. It was a small resort, actually, no kidding. Beyonce and Jay-Z have a, a villa in this resort. We didn't see them. Um, we had our own private golf cart to take us around. It would just, we park it wherever we want. And it was amazing. And just traveling Epic Your Style is like, unlike anything, I don't know, I've been on trips not with Epic Year and now it's just kind of, if anything, it's ruined it for me <laughs> because there's nothing quite like it, but yeah. And I know Janesta, maybe we'll lead into you because you were on that trip too. Was that your first trip? That was my first trip, yeah. Yeah, it was a amazing trip, I'll never forget it. And it's so cool you said about the uh, private check-in because I never even remembered that, but like it's the little things that stand out that Epicure really does go above and beyond with all those little things. Um, so yeah, I'm Janessa Hughley. I'm from Nova Scotia and I've been a consultant for about 12 years, but more seriously for about seven. So I was like a hobbyist consultant for about five years. And then when my daughter was born, I decided I didn't want to go back to work. So I started like tapping into my business and showing up for meeting team meetings and showing up for season launches and, and really just tapping into the resources that were available to me and, and putting effort in where I hadn't really before. And my, I started growing my business. And um, I think what 
what kind of made me realize like Miranda was shared a little bit how she kind of realized that the trip was possible for her and that made me think about what kind of made me think it was possible for me and it was um seeing like I was starting to work at my business a little bit and I think it was a Jamaica trip or was it even the Portugal trip? I forget which one it was, but I was like kind of watching my points and I wasn't trying to earn the trip because like Miranda before I thought I could never do that. Like I, trips aren't just aren't for me. And, but by the end of the trip period, I had earned like half the points and I wasn't even trying to earn the trip. So then when the next trip came around, I was like, you know what, if I actually tried, maybe I could earn this. So that's when I started trying for Dominican and, um, it was, it was amazing, but I think my favorite trip was Mexico this past year because I got to take my husband. And Dominican, the way it worked out, I was gunning for the trip for two, and my baby, my second, uh, I was pregnant with my second. I had cooking classes booked like up till two weeks before she was due, and I was like, this is all lining up perfectly. I'll have the points I need, and she came four weeks early. So I was in the hospital, canceled cooking classes, all the rest. I was just short of earning the trip for two. And I wasn't going to go because my husband and I love traveling so much that I just couldn't bear the thought of going without him. And um, and then everyone at the Epicure community, they were so supportive and wanted me to go and was like, we'll help you with the baby and everything. And it was a family resort. So it was possible for me to take her. And um, it just, I was so impressed and I was like, you know what? I earned this trip. I'm going to go. So I went, um, but I didn't get to take him. So then the next trip I earned was Disney and uh, I got to take not only my husband, but I got to take my two girls and my two brothers. No, my oldest girl, sorry. My youngest didn't go because she was a baby. That would have been a nightmare. Um, and then I got to take uh, my two brothers, which was really special to me because we had just gone through a loss in our family and it was just really meaningful to be able to take them to Disney. But then the COVID happened, I missed two trips. And then finally, I felt like Mexico, I got to take my husband. And it was like, it was four years in the in the coming because he didn't get to go to Dominican. And then it was like all these trips got canceled and it was finally we got to go and it was the most amazing trip just like Miranda said, the little things like the, um, the little treats that Epicure had waiting for us on the bed when we got in there and like the banner on the door and all those things that just the resort was so beautiful. We would have never picked a resort that expensive to go to ourselves. So um, all of it from the food to the high-end restaurants and the just the relaxation and just being able to be there with my husband um, and enjoy that full time together just us was so amazing but then he got to meet all the Epicure people and the business became even more like meaningful and special to him too so that was probably my favorite trip but like they all really have been so amazing so when Epicure announced a cruise I'm like oh yeah we're all in <laughs> So Suki, what about you? What's your favorite trip? Oh my gosh. So for those of you who don't know me, I'm Suki Okarovsky and I have been with Epicure for eight years and a leader since 2017. So however many years ago that was. And my story is kind of similar to Janessa and Miranda where I didn't think a trip was for someone like me. I thought it was for the global directors, the executive directors, not just a brand new consultant or a brand new leader. And um, I remember a couple of years before I earned my first trip looking at, I think it was also the Portugal trip. And I, there was like a little airplane and my airplane was like more than halfway um, like to the finish line, like just like the trackers we have now. And the incentive period was pretty much over. And I thought, oh, I wasn't really gunning for this trip, but I'm obviously doing something where I'm earning points. So then um, when they announced Disney at uh, one of our conferences, all the years are blurring together to me. But uh, when they announced Disney a few, year, a few years back, I was like, I am going on that trip and I'm going to make it happen. Like I remember they were handing out Disney um, ears at conference and I was bawling my face off because I'm like I'm gonna bring my son 
And I, that was the first trip I earned was Disney and I got to bring my son and probably that's probably my, my favorite memory because I remember us pulling up to the resort in the bus and my son says, mommy, thank you so much for earning this trip for us. And we hadn't even gotten on the resort yet. And just watching through his eyes, everything that, you know, we got to do, we got to have breakfast with um, Disney characters and um, our farewell ceremony was at Epcot and they had a beautiful dessert spread and they had um, fireworks and they rented like this private area for us. And it was just amazing, amazing to be able to bring him. And now he understands like why I work so hard in my business. Um, and then same with bringing my husband to Mexico this past October. He got to just see just really how amazing our company is and how amazing the people are and how much our home office team cares about us and how much other consultants respect and care for each other. Um, so, so it just, it just brings, um, it just solidifies to our family, like why we do what we do. And of course we just get so spoiled. So, um, yeah, so we wanted to come on and just really share why you want to earn a trip here. And now we're going to go through how you can earn a trip here because I, I'm sure Miranda and Janesta can relate to this, but when, when we saw the trip points for this trip, my jaw just about hit the floor. Cause I'm like, that's all we have to do because I think now correct me if I'm wrong ladies, but I think for the trip for one for Mexico was 75,000 points. So the trip for two for 75,000 points is like, so doable so doable so um I don't know which one of you ladies are going first to talk about how to break it down Miranda I think you're going to go first and share like one way to break it down and then I'm going to share another way um so yeah go ahead yeah sounds good I want to show you guys the tracker um and we'll go through the little bullet points of what you need to do to earn the trip um yeah let's do that share my screen Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm going to show you exactly how to find this too, in case you're wondering, because it's kind of hidden. The events tab is really, really fun tab in, in my Epicure to explore, because it really shows you all the possibilities. Um, Suki and I were just in Puerto Vallarta, Florida in January, February. No, I don't even remember. January, I think. And in Mexico. Like, Mexico. Oh, yeah. That's not. Did I say Florida? Yeah. Puerto Vallarta, Florida. <laughs> Sorry, there's too many trips. <laughs> Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. And that you can find out more about the senior director, upper director retreat as well in this tab. Um, but if you go to business tools and click that little down arrow, you will see the events tab. Oh, who's going to conference in Dallas? <laughs> Uh, and we keep scrolling and you'll see the President's Club Incentive Trip 2024. So you have 12 full months to earn points for this. Like Suki was saying, that's uh, it's like less, way less points than usual. And you have 12 full months. So you really want to do the math there with how many points you need divided by how many months and break it down into smaller steps. That's the first thing I did when I was on my hotel bed at that conference when I decided I was earning Dominican was I was like, okay, but I can't think about all those points. It just seems impossible. But what if I break it down, do some simple math, and uh, we've got a really cool tool that Suki's going to show you too to help you do that even further. But that's what I've always done. And although this tracker is really pretty and we have another example of one as well, I've always made it an event in my house with my kids to get a big piece of Bristol board and make one with markers, like with Sharpies that my kids could help me color in. You want your kids involved in this and or your spouse or whoever you live with, you want them involved in this. That way, when they see that you're at these cooking classes so often and they see that you're you know, working harder than ever, they see why and they see that it's adding up. Even if my kids aren't going on that trip, they still help me with the tracker and uh, you want it somewhere smack in the middle of your kitchen where you're somewhere where you're going to see it 
every single day. If you tuck this away in your office and you go for a week without being in your office, that's a whole week of not really keeping your mind on those points. So make sure you are hyper-focused and make it fun. Anyways, okay, here's the, oh, this flyer is really pretty. They chose some awesome colors. So the incentive period is March 1st, so we've already been earning, uh, you were earning before we knew you were earning, and it goes all the way until February 28th, so that's 12 full months. Um, it's a five day trip, four night, five day, includes your round trip airfare, it includes ocean view balcony on this cruise, which is awesome, gourmet meals, premium beverage package, welcome reception, all the things um networking breakfasts are really fun we, they have those on every trip and for one it helps cut the cost for income tax purposes but also for most importantly you get to uh, mingle with other achievers pick their brains on how they earned their trip and all that any questions now is the time ask away guys oh i see a chat Moving my tracker to the fridge now. Good. Yes. Keep it where you can see it. Okay. So here are the ways to earn. So you might think it's just sales. Um, it's just that it's all up to you to earn that 75,000 points. Let's not even think about 50,000 points. That's too few. We know we're all earning the trip for one. Let's talk big picture, 75,000 points. Keep your mind on that. Uh, I don't want anyone doing math on what's 50,000 divided by 12. There's no point. Let's get you all the trip for two it's so doable so it's not all just on up to you and your sales that's the beautiful part um, when you welcome new ambassadors onto your team then you get one point per qv that they submit in their fast path period their whole fast path which is the month they start plus three more months after that that's incredible and as soon as they that kicks in as soon as they hit 250 in sales it used to be that they had to close a cooking class and that's no longer it's now just sales based so have fun with that because if you think about it uh like bringing five imagine bringing five new ambassadors onto your team uh you have all of their sales points as your own points plus your own sales points plus you'll be rank advancing because they're putting in orders and you're putting in orders and if you look here you get 1000 bonus points for every level that you rank advance from senior ambassador to vip to executive ambassador uh so you just imagine like the possibility and what this will do for your business. I know this is a trip we're talking about and this is a trip we're getting excited for, but you're really growing a super strong business and earning some amazing income doing it. Oh, awesome. And then yeah, those points go up when you hit leader, that's 2000 points, leader and leader to director, and then senior director to global director is 3000 points at each level. Ah, oh, so awesome. <laughs> And you can see, like I said, there is a tracker here. Totally, if this is your jam, print that out. Uh, I'm going to, I haven't had a chance to go and get Bristol board yet, but I am making a big tacky <laughs> tracker out of Bristol board and Sharpies on my wall. Wait. Now, do they get matching points on rank advancements in their team? Good question. So as the upline leader to a personal team member who first time rank advances to leader and above, then yes, you'll get matching. So uh, you wanna hit leader and you will as you're growing your team. Once you hit leader, then all of your team's rank advancements, yes, you get matching. So mm -hmm. pretty incredible. Amazing, love it. Yeah. Are you ready for me to go through another way to break it down, Miranda? Yes, sounds good. I just will, I want to show this in case anyone hasn't seen it. Um, this is floating around our Epicure community. I didn't make this. Do you ladies know which ambassador made this for us? Well, I'll, we'll give credit to her, but we can share this PDF with you because this is really cool. You get to color in all these ships every 500 points. So another way to track it. And it highlights it for you, what you should have by the end of each month. March 31st, hopefully you've colored it up to there. So I just wanted to show that one, but um, yeah. And if anyone here gets creative and wanted to make their own tracker and share it, you're welcome to. All right. So before I go into another way that you can track this down, we also wanted to make sure you guys all know where the um, trip point report is. Do you all know where that is? 
Do you know how many points you have so far? I'd love to write in the comments how many points you have so far and we can see who who is the top point earner out of this group so far. Nesta, so. since I have my Epicure open, do you want me to really quickly show how many points, sure. show where the tracker is, I mean? Yeah, sure. Okay. So you just need to go to the reports tab right here and scroll down and you can see it right here. Woo -woo, Miranda, 6,100. Yeah, I have about four new consultants who are putting sales in. So it's really awesome. I get to watch that grow without even knowing when points are coming. It's really neat. And you can see how your team is doing for incentive trip points. And you can see um, how your org is doing as well. And they have a breakdown, like an actual report that you can go into. I don't want to go and show you other people's points, but it's just right down here. Yeah. Love it. And even if you're not to that, um, like on that ship tracker, if you're not to where like the end of March is yet, don't stress because you have time to make up points. This is only month one. So it just, that's just a guideline for you. Um, but my brain works a little bit differently and everyone's brain works differently when you're breaking down this trip. So I thought it would be helpful to share a couple of different ways. So one way is to break it down by month. Um, another way is to break it down by how the different ways to earn points. So what I kind of, how I kind of think of it is I think of 75,000 points and then I think of, okay, what ranks do I want to reach between now and the next 12 months and right away, take those points off the sec. So I'm going to, I'm going to walk you through these steps. The second step is how many new consultants can I sponsor? in the next 12 months and then right away take those points off and then what's left so let's go back to step one um so let's just take for example someone who may be at and sitting at ambassador right now so you're going to earn a thousand points for rank advancing to senior ambassador a thousand for rank advancing to vip ambassador another thousand for executive ambassador there's three thousand and Move up to leader, because I know you guys can all sponsor at least 10, 12, 14 consultants in the next 12 months. So you're going to move up to leader. That's, an, that's another 2,000 points. So right away, you take 5,000 points off that total that you'll earn in rank advancing. Rank advancing. Um, we could even go beyond that. Maybe one of your new consultants that you bring in is going to move up to leader themselves or more, right? So if you promote a leader, then that's 2000 points for, for promoting them plus another 2000 points for you promoting to senior leader. Okay, so we could go on and on with, with the potential points here in rank advancement, but let's just stick with the 5,000. Let's say you move from ambassador to leader in the next 12 months. So we'll take 5,000 for that. And, um, so next I want you to think about how many new ambassadors could you sponsor in the next 12 months? And just to, to use a guideline, I'm gonna say um, your new ambassador is going to do their fast path. So they're gonna do 3000 points in their first three months. So that's the number I kind of use as an average. Some will do more, some will do less. Um, and if you're bringing on people that you know aren't going to do the fast path, if you're bringing on people that are just kind of joining for the discount, don't count those people. So maybe aim for like more. But I'm going to say if you did an average of 12 new consult new ambassadors, that's one a month that's going to do the fast path. They are each earn you 3,000 points during their fast path because they're going to do the the thousand each month, there's 36,000 points just in new ambassadors. Okay, so 5,000 plus 36,000, we're already at 41,000. Now, don't make your minimums your maximums, right? So if you're going to expect 12 new ambassadors to come on and each do 3,000, they're probably 
not all going to do that. So maybe you want to think about sponsoring two a month just to make sure that one of them is actually going to go through and, and uh, do that fast pass so you get those points. Um, so we're at 41,000. How many points do we have left to earn the trip? 34,000. So if you divide that by 12 months, you're looking at just under 3,000 a month in personal sales. Is that more doable? Well, there's so many different ways to break it down. You could look at, okay, I'm going to increase my, my new ambassadors, lower my sales. You could say, I'm going to increase my sales, lo lower my ambassadors. You can um, mix it up so many different ways. But just as an example, I just wanted to show you that little, um, that little breakdown of promoting to leader, bringing on 12 new ambassadors who are going to do their fast path and a, about 3000 a month in personal sales will get you there. Maybe that's a little more than what you're doing right now. Is it worth putting a little bit extra in right now to get on this trip? Let me tell you, it's going to be worth it. It's going to be so worth it. Um, one other little thing that I will mention is you want to think about doing your sponsoring during the first part of the incentive trip, because if you sponsor just one every month or two every month, the last three months of your trip, you're not going to have the full earning potential on those new ambassadors. So for example, if you sponsor someone in February, they're not going to earn you 3000 points. So if you are expecting to earn those 3000 points, you're going to want to sponsor those 12 new ambassadors early in the incentive period so that you have full three month earning potential on them. Does that make sense? It does. And is there anything that you do, Janesta, like when there's a promotion on like there is this month um, when we sponsor one new ambassador, we get $50, right? $50 in product credit or is that cash? Uh, yeah. So is there anything that you do, any kind of incentives that you do to encourage uh, sponsoring new people? Yeah. So one thing that I'm going to be using um, this month is just a little, a little tip that I've been giving to my team as well is maybe that $50 in free product, you could offer that as an incentive to give people that little, sometimes they just need a little push over the, over the line, right? To, um, they're thinking about it, they're humming and hawing, and they maybe just need a little motivation. So you could even say the next person that joins my team this month, I'm going to give you an extra $50 in free product credit. So when that free product credit comes into your account, you just choose the product for them and ship it to them instead of shipping it to yourself. Um, so that's one way that you can utilize the the promotion, but make it what's in it for them yeah. instead of what's in it for you. And um, because you want to get on track with spot, I know I keep wanting to say sponsoring, bringing on new ambassadors this month, right? And we want you to kickstart that and start earning those points on your new ambassadors right away. So that can be one little little tip. Um, so I think. We want to end off with a little um, incentive for you guys, a, a action item. So Suki, do you want to do you want to go back to you and you can share with them the challenge that we made up? I will, but before I do that, I'm gonna share um, oh, another. Okay. You have the yeah. Sorry. I have another. No, that's okay. That. That's yeah. Okay. There's another part. Um, there's another little tracker that we have um for those people who are like a little bit more um I guess numbers people um let me just grab it here share my screen okay there it is okay can you all see my screen you're good okay so this was created by Dana Kale she's an um executive director and she loves numbers and um this is great to help keep you kind of on track and show you your earning potential on points and kind of like what what you have so far and what you need moving forward so up here we've got all the months that you have to earn the trip and this is all on personal sales 
down here on the right hand side is new ambassadors and what they have um, submitted thus far. So this is just a um, this is just like a pretend scenario. And then over here in red is when new consultant or new ambassadors rank advance and, and how many points you earn on that. And then up here is like your little, your subtotal. So it really helps you just break down, um, especially, this is especially good if you're, uh, someone who's a leader or have a few people on your team and you're kind of working with, with, um, new ambassadors, you can really plug these numbers in. So for instance, let's say in March, you've done 2,500 QV. Um, and that's going to be your average across the board here. Let's say you're aiming to earn 2,500 every month and like, uh, or sorry, uh, do 2,500 in QV every month. Um, as Janesta said, you have the potential to earn 33,000 points just on your own personal sale. So that's almost, or that's just over half for a trip for one on just your personal sales. So imagine you sponsor, you know, eight new consults, eight new ambassadors. And, um, you know, as again, as Janesta said, some will do a lot. Some will do, you know, the minimum and that's okay because we've still got over 10,000 points racked up just from a varying degree of people who are doing a lot and some who are, you know, just, you know, qualifying at the 250. And then you've got a couple of people here who are, you know, gunning for leader. You've got Oprah, for instance, who has got 2,000 points. Um, because she promoted to leader. And so then look at that, you're at 47,000 points and you just have a little bit to do, um, you know, at the, at the end. So this is really a great, if anybody wants this tracker, just reach out to either of us and we can get it for you, get it to you. Um, and this is good for, okay. So if you, if you know, next month, for instance, you've got four cooking classes booked and you know, you're going to have a $3,000 months, then you just plug that in and that just kind of changes your numbers a little bit. And then as you sponsor new consultants and those new can those new ambassadors submit their cooking classes, you just add them in here and then you can see the potential of where you're going to land at the end of the month and you can forecast uh, for the months ahead. So this is really great if somebody is really detail oriented and really likes to um, kind of play around with different scenarios, this would be um, something really helpful. So again, if you would like that, um, we can get that for you. Um, okay, so now I'm trying to not share my screen anymore. How do I do that? I'm all messed up here. Um, Should be a stop share button somewhere. Oh, there it is. Awesome. Okay. So now we have an incentive for you all who are on this call. And even if you're watching the recording, this is um, an incentive for you to just push you and towards, you know, earning this trip. Because like we said in the beginning, this trip points are so doable. Um, I've been tracking and earning trips since Disney. So like four years and this has been the most easiest or most attainable point system to earn the trip. So um, our incentive for you is, well, maybe I'll get you to remind us, Janessa, because um, I forgot. <laughs> I'm being honest, I forgot. <laughs> no worries at all. So who's up for a challenge? And um, Miranda's writing in the chat too, get your questions ready, because we're gonna open this up for questions afterwards and takeaways. Um, but okay, I see some hands up. You want your challenge. So we're going to give you actually two challenges. Okay. The Bonus first one yeah. is to print your tracker, whatever kind of tracker you want to use. We've given you several options. There's the one with the ships. There's the one on the flyer from home office. There's the spreadsheet. You can make your own. Um, so print whatever tracker you want to use and send us a picture of it on your fridge in your kitchen or wherever you decide to put it that you're gonna see it every day. So don't just send us a picture of the tracker, we wanna see where you posted it. So back up a little bit, take a picture of where, so we can see where you posted it and send it to um, whatever, whoever your leader is who invited you on this call. So myself, Suki or Miranda, and we'll get you in a draw. 
So that's challenge number one. Challenge number two is we want you earning those points for bringing on new ambassadors. So your second challenge is going to be to bring a new ambassador on your team this month. Okay, so this is the 23rd. How many dates are in March anyways? I don't know, you have about a week left yeah. to, um, to earn this. Actually over a week, you have like eight days because there's 31 days in March. So um we want you earning those ambassador points right away and like i said you can use the incentives that are available this month okay. next person that joins you in this um on your team and um make it like a limited time offer right only the next person that joins gets this so just give them that little bit of um motivation to to join you and we don't want you waiting till april like we know there's stuff been announced at conference that's coming in april it's going to be amazing but we don't want you to wait because we have an amazing offer right now we have they can join with host dollars so they could even host a party between now and the end of the month and join with host dollars or just join and um and get their launch done right away get their first paycheck in to cover the cost of their kit and um and you'll give them that 50 dollar um product bonus if you want to that's just optional like you don't have to do that it's just uh something we we thought we'd throw in there as a little suggestion for you yeah so sponsor and you will earn um a gift from your your leader so from myself miranda or suki so that's your challenge number two miranda you were going to add something yeah, I was going to say, we're not going to do a draw for those who sponsor. You just get an automatic gift when you sponsor from us. And the first challenge again was print your tracker and take a picture of it where you have it posted. Um, we want to see that and then you'll be in for a draw. But yeah, like, don't wait. This is this is the time. And I love Janesta's idea of that $50 credit. We get lots of credit, right? We can be a host and get free products that way. Why not use that $50 as an incentive um, and if, here's my tip. This is what I do. If I ever have, you know, that you've had a conversation with someone through text or messenger and they were on the fence about joining and then things kind of fizzled and you haven't, uh, you didn't know where to go or what to say next, uh, go back and say, Hey, Sarah, um, I know you've been on the fence about joining up here. I have a, um, time sensitive promo where I'm giving $50 to the next person who joins. I wanted to make sure you knew about it since you were on the fence anyways. Um, what do you think? Let me know by and then 24 hours from then. Something like that to get the ball rolling on those people who are on the fence, because I know we often have those people who have mentioned it before. Just and that's the great thing about our business. We can invent our own incentives. <laughs> yes, yeah, I love those words. Um, and Heather just said something in the chat that I didn't even realize the promo codes work on the business kits. What? I didn't even know that. Thanks, Heather. <laughs> oh, one other thing I wanted to mention is don't go posting this publicly, okay? Because we're not allowed to give special offers publicly. So if you're offering this $50 product to someone, it make sure it's privately, okay? Yes, yes. So any questions from anybody? Um has anyone been on a cruise before and has some, especially on this kind of cruise and can share like what your favorite thing about a cruise like this is? I've never been and you have Janesta? Yeah, um, I've been on two cruises. They're amazing. Um, I think one of my favorite things about them is the fine dining. like. You get to dress up if you want to um, and really just have that full like multiple course meal experience every single night, which is um, it's just so much different on a cruise because they really take it to the next level. Um, even more, it's even more like seems like a finer experience than most resorts that I've been to anyways. Um, and then there's just so much to offer. Like you get the the nightlife, you get the entertainment, like there's always entertainment every single night that you can go to. Mm -hmm. 
um, you get to be out in the sun, but you, there's like fun things to do indoors too. You get to like see different places. Um, so you get to like go off land, but then there's always the, the ship to come back to. Um, and, th but this one is way better than any cruise that I've been on. So this is like the nicest ship that I've ever seen. Um, <laughs> the, just the highlights that they were sharing at conference about this ship were just blowing my mind. And then like we get the, the drink package, which I have never gotten the drink package on any, on either of the cruises that I've went on. So I was like, what? That's yeah. I wouldn't, I wouldn't just wouldn't pay for that. So that's amazing. Yes. Apparently this ship is like the creme de la creme of cruise ships. Like I knew nothing about this uh, when they announced it. And when I made a post on my, on my Facebook that I was going on, on a cruise, people were saying, Oh, I hope you're going on, on, uh, what are we going on the empress or something i i this is how little i know yeah. um but anyways they're like i hope you're going on whatever this one is it's like the best one and um turns out that's what oh uh, uh, the royal caribbean yes that's what it is and apparently it's like the best um the best ship so again epicure they don't give us you know a trip that is worth peanuts like it's worth a lot and they spoil us and um it's just amazing it's gonna be amazing one thing i was very apprehensive about cruises in the past. um oh, i'm getting feedback oh there we go i was uh, very apprehensive because i'm claustrophobic and I, I thought that would be an issue and everyone that i talked to that I tell that to they say make sure you have a balcony just have a balcony and you won't feel claustrophobic you'll be fine and of course with epicure all of like this is guaranteed a balcony so like it's just awesome i'm excited that was another thing because i've always stayed in a stateroom and they're pretty tiny but like you don't spend much time in your room anyway so like, we never cared but i was like what a balcony like yeah it's, it's pretty pretty crazy awesome all right, so any takeaway? What's your takeaway, guys? One takeaway. Let's share. Oh, got some quiet people here. I'm just going to say they're so quiet. Oh, we'll have because they don't know. They don't know what they're in for yet. Oh, no. They don't know. It's going to be amazing. Marsha says, ask everyone. I like it. It's true. Work smarter, not harder. Get people to join and do their fast track. Yes. Aw, thanks, Heather. So who Aww. feels a little bit more confident that they can earn this or maybe a little bit more motivation to, to get to work now that you've seen it broke down a little bit more? Yeah. Good. And now that you've heard that all three of us have that in common, that we never thought we could earn trips mm -hmm. and we just went for it. It just takes going for it and not giving up on yourself. Just I remember seeing Miranda and Janesta at these trips. And I'm like, I want to hang out with the cool kids. <laughs> and honestly, like once you just put your nose down and you just do what your upline leader is already coaching you to do, right? Is like share the business help new people get started and have a strong personal business, wash, rinse, repeat, like that is it. And once you figure, once you get into that groove, it's just like the points just rack up and it gets addicting. Like I, I have my tracker actually here and every day I come down to my office and I'm coloring tips and it's just, it's so fun. Yeah. I'm going to have my office tracker downstairs. That's that one. And then I'll have my, homemade one upstairs in the kitchen awesome awesome yes it is so doable it really is yes love it monica yeah it's principal for tracker well thank you everyone for coming on this call we cannot wait to cheers on that cruise oh, awesome can't wait to see you everyone out yes all right all right awesome thanks everyone all right everyone